flying high. Um, and I think we have our first caller. I think we have from Camden, New Jersey, the new WBA champ, Jason Sosa, is on the line. Hey, Jason how you Sosa, doing? you are live. How you doing, Michelle? <laughs> hi. Hey, say hi to Jay, my co-host. How you doing? What's We're going on, good. Jason? We Nothing. know that you. We know that you must be on cloud nine, Jason Sosa. You fought Nicholas Walters. Back in December, you know, without hesitation, you took the fight. Then a call comes in from China, and without hesitation, you take the fight. You know, where does that come from? You know, you you don't turn anything down, and and you just do your job. Well, you know, first, it goes out to the team, you know. um, Tino has has changed my, my career, and... Uh-oh. Hello? Jason? Did we lose Jason? I think we lost oh, I think him. We, I think we lost him. So we'll wait for him to dial back in. So just in oh. case you're tuning in, we're joined by Jason Sosa. Looks like he's in a in a bad reception area. He's back from China, right? He made it back to Philly already, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. I mean, it, and it, was, it was tough over there and getting acclimated to come back here. Hopefully he'll call right ah. back in. That, we wanted to talk about that. Yes, here he is. He is now. All right. Hello. All right, Jason, we got you, we got you back. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, you know it all comes down to the team. You know, um, it, it's a team effort. And uh, Raul, he, Chino, he he's changed my career. And 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 um, you know, I trust him with with everything. You know, I trust him with my life. And and. He puts me in the position that uh, we know we're going to come out victorious. And, um, I mean, it comes down to, you know, hard work and dedication. And, and you know, and we signed up. We we signed up for this, you know. We we signed up to fight the best. Um, and that's what we're looking forward to, to continue on doing. Jason, after the Walters fight, you got the draw in that fight. And did you feel like you would get another title shot after that fight, the way it ended? Um, yeah, I felt like I, either a title shot or a rematch with Nicholas Walter would have been, um, uh, great as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, my performance, you know, it, it speaks for itself and, 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 you know, the way that I perform against Nicholas Walters, uh, had everybody, you know, either was a draw was a, you know, had people questioning it and, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was confident in that I was gonna get another shot. You know, I'm a I'm a crowd pleaser, um, you know, and and you know I'm I'm here to fight. I'm here to you know just do what I do best. So the you felt the draw then it wasn't a setback. You felt that fight was a performance that just kept your name and would keep your name out there and keep you in front of the fans despite the outcome. Yeah, yeah, um, a hundred percent because. You know, you're talking about a, a young man with only three amateur fights. Um, uh, started his career in '09, uh, late, late. Um, you know, at 20 years old, and um, have accomplished so much in such a short period of time. And uh, I, I didn't just fight a, a nobody. You know, I fought an ex world champion, um, mm-hmm. almost uh, named pound. You know, pound for pound, and and. and for me to go in there and for people to expect differently and me to show different, I think that that opened a lot of people's eyes. Like, oh, you know, this this kid is is probably or maybe the real deal. You took the Walters fight without hesitation. Call comes from Beijing. You take that fight without hesitation. A great opportunity. Since it had been a little bit since you'd been out of the ring, about seven months. Did you feel like they were underestimating you when you got the call for that fight? Like maybe they they caught you slipping or something something like that? Um yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure you know they 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 was hoping for that, but uh I take my career very serious. Um you know, I I'm here for one thing and that and that's to become a world champion and you know, I have accomplished that and and you know, there's many more many more you know, uh, world titles that I want to accomplish. 
yeah, I take my career very serious. I'm always in the gym. There's never no, uh, you know, no, I'm never out out of shape. I'm always, you know, in, in great condition and, and making sure that um, hopefully we don't get caught off guard, you know, with a phone call. And um, we just we just prepare ourselves. Jason, less than a year ago, you were literally fighting on local club shows in Philly. Next thing you know, you're on HBO, you're going to China, you know, you're signed by two Hall of Fame promoters with Bob Arum and Russell Peltz. You know, there's just so much that we could talk about here with your journey. I mean, coming from Camden, being Puerto Rican, I mean, you're just, you took the road less traveled. And I think that's why a lot of people do like you and they cheer for you. Um, so let, let's go to the fight. You were down on all the cards. You were even dropped during the fight. Did you know that you were behind on the cards before that knockout came? Um, no. I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't um, sure if I was down or not. But um, I just know I was there to perform. You know, we, we pretty much did everything we was working on in the gym. And, um, you know, I'm – I'm a pretty smart fighter. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's just a matter of time that I catch someone making a mistake. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was waiting for my opportunity and, you know, and, and it actually worked as game plan. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't ask for, for, for more. Yeah. You just stayed focused and, and it showed. So look, you were really emotional after the fight. You know, you realized, wow, I'm the WBA champ. I did it. What was the first thing you thought of? Who's the first person you thought of at that moment? Um, honestly, I, it just so much things went through my mind. Um, you know, for one thing is, it still hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> now I'm a world champion. <laughs> um, I'm still shocked. So it's like, I'm still like, when is it going to hit me kind of <laughs> mood? But um, no, I mean, you know, it, I took in a lot for this fight. You know, I thought about everybody. I thought about people that was in this position before, you know, people that I know that was in the position before. And this belt meant a lot, a lot. A lot and I hopefully and hopefully it made a lot um, to a lot of people because, you know, that's how I went into this fight. You know, and I didn't, I didn't want to let, let nobody down. Um, you know, I didn't want to, like, let down my 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 old man Russell Peltz, um, you know my trainer Raul Rivas, and the team, and it's like when I when I won that title, it was more like we did it, you know, like kind of attitude, like wow, like we actually accomplished what we came to do. We took a trip all the way to China, and we did it. When you went to China, the time change is crazy. And did you you had to acclimate to all that? The food, make weight. Was there anything that happened before the fight that didn't go according to plan? Um, honestly, uh, no. Everything was actually perfect. Um, just except let me rephrase that. Except the uh, the time difference with with the sleeping. I was always waking up. At three in the morning, I was getting up right, at three right. in the morning and calling people, and I'm like, "Oh, oops, I forgot. It's time difference." <laughs> <laughs> but it seemed not to affect you in the ring. How many days were you there? You know, before you had to hit the ring for the fight. I believe we was there for a week and like a couple of days. So nothing. So nothing. You had a chance to get good and acclimated before before fight night. Yeah, I think we, we, we was just on time. Like It was perfect. All right. Excellent. Did I think we... So, what, so what's next to you, for you, Jason? We we definitely want to see you back in the ring the sooner than the later. What's coming up next? Yeah, I, I definitely want to get back in the ring. Um, right now, I'm, I'm, you know, take a little break as in a week. Um, and then hit back in the gym, work on um, more things, um, and hopefully, you know, we we uh, we can get another big fight. Um, from this point on, I you know I want to fight 
all the all the hundred thirty pounders that got titles. I want to fight the best. I want to fight. You know, I, I haven't accomplished anything yet. Yeah, I right. accomplished being a world, world champion, but there's just so much more to do. And we set a goal for ourselves, and that is to be a three time world champion. And I think we're focusing on on that. You know, and 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 just move on. Just accomplish uh, bigger and better things. Well, Jason, congratulations. You made Camden and Philly so proud. You've taken the road less traveled. It should be re- respected. We want you to keep us posted on what's coming next. you got some friends over here on the morning punch and show. You know, they thought it would be an easier fight and a cheaper fight, but they were wrong. And so congratulations. Enjoy the moment. And um, all the best to you. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good one.